Hey everybody, we're the Border Hookups, and this year we are part of Full-Time Freedom Week. <laughs> wow. Again, so animated. I know, I but I have, don't know what to do with it. I have two thumbs pointing at you, and you <laughs> missed your cue. What else can oh I get? Oh my gosh. What else can I get? What else can I do to make this happen? <sighs> I don't know. So in this episode, we talk about 10 things that we absolutely have to bring with us when boondocking. So the first thing is water bladders and water jugs, not just for filling up when you're out boondocking and you don't want to tear your whole rig down and bring it into town and get water filled. You can use these water jugs and these water bladders to cruise into town get them filled with your vehicle or your tow vehicle and get it done that way. And you can also use them to bring extra water in with you. It's always handy to have water jugs and a water bladder and or. Next up, solar panels. So this was a game changer for us. When we started out, we had a little bit of solar, but not enough to really do anything. And so we decided we were gonna boondock a lot. So we got solar and this runs all of our appliances, our refrigerator, our microwave, charges our batteries um, in our phones and our computers and our TV as well. So solar power for boondocking, amazing. So another piece of equipment that we absolutely have to have when boondocking is our generator. We use it more as a backup item. Um, we use our solar for the most part, but uh, if our solar doesn't get fully charged by the end of the day and we have to just give it a little boost, then we fire up our generator. Um, things like AC, if it's really hot, we need our generator because we can't really run our uh, our solar and our AC with our solar, it just not enough power. So having a generator, and I'll tell you this right now, Having a invert, an inverter generator is the way to go. Do not come in with that open cage contractor generator that you got cheap at, at, at a store because it's a great way to lose friends when that baby's flying through the night. So a generator. True. Most people are all boondocking because they kind of want the quiet right. and peace, right? Right. <laughs> Another item that we always have when we're boondocking is an outdoor rug, and it's a fairly large rug. And the reason we have that is because a lot of the places that we stay are uh, very dirty. You know, a lot of sand, we're out in the desert, a lot of dirt and dust. And it's just nice to have that rug because then you're not tracking um, all of that dirt inside of your rig. And it just makes for a really cozy space outside as well to park your little chairs on and, and sit. And it doubles as our stage. When we play shows out in the desert, we put the rug down so our stuff doesn't get all dirty. So having an outdoor rug is primo. We've had ours for two years and uh, you know, it's getting a little bit rough. We might have to get a new one, but it's lasted for two years. So definitely invest in a good outdoor rug. Right. Another item that's great to have is a box of heavy duty trash bags or contractor bags. And these are like three mil thick, much thicker than your, your standard uh, garbage bag that goes in your kitchen. And the reason that we have these is because when we have to carry our garbage somewhere after boondocking, because a lot of times there isn't a garbage receptacle where we are, we don't want it leaking all over the place. Even if we put it in the back of our truck, we don't want it leaking all over the place. So we put our garbage in that, seal it, and that's a lot stronger until we get to the, the place that we can dump garbage. And you can't smell it as much either. No, you cannot. <laughs> it's a huge plus. Garbage bags, heavy duty garbage bags. Yes.
Another item that we bring with us um, and we find really great for boondocking is having a propane fire ring. And the reason that we have that is because a lot of times um, we're at places that have uh, fire bans in place and then you can't be outside having a fire. Sometimes they will allow you to use your propane fire ring, sometimes they won't, so you do have to check on that. The other thing I love about it is that I don't get that smoky smell all over my clothes and in my hair. I love that smoky smell. <laughs> in your hair? Well, I don't have hair, so it <laughs> works all for me. Right, right, exactly. So it's just a nice way to enjoy a campfire without all of the rest of that, you know. And then we don't have to buy wood either. And a lot of times you can't bring wood state to state to state. Right, that's a good point. Yes. And with that said, we also bring LP, extra LP. We carry an extra 20, is it 20 pound or is it 20? The ones that they you can trade in at the gas station. And we carry that because a lot of times with the 30s, you can't um, trade in. And so the 25s we carry, we run our LP fire ring with that and it works great. And nice because then we have an extra tank. Mm -hmm. Never run out. Never run out. Okay, here's another item that we never thought we would use, but we have used, and that is our air compressor. It's just a little guy, and all it does is gets us to the point where we can get our tires up to the, the full 80 on our trailer, or if our truck's running low, we can use that to get going. Um, if you don't have one and you have to limp into town, that's not a good deal, especially for the small amount of space that it takes up. And you may not need that air compressor, but your new friend coming down the road may need that air compressor. So it's good to have a tool like that just in case, whether it be for yourself or somebody else. I have to get my water in. Welcome to another healthy living tip with Jacqueline. So today I wanted to give you some advice about how to eat out at a restaurant. Now, a lot of restaurants have healthy options these days. So you're looking for lean cuts of meat, you know, chicken breast, um, shrimp, shrimp cocktail is a good one, um, things like that, and veggies. Of course, you can try other things here and there, uh, but you really wanna kinda stick to that to decrease your calories and to be eating healthy. Get your dressing on the side. Um, the other thing, the best advice that I ever got was from my coach, and she said, look up the menu online. Look it up online, decide what you're going to get, go to that restaurant, don't get a menu because it'll just make you change your mind. Order what you're going to order and order first before you hear everybody else. And that's been a Healthy Living Tip with Jacqueline. Okay, here's another one. And this is gonna be a saw and or a hatchet. And the reason that we have these items is A, if you have to have a real fire or want to have a real fire, you have to split the wood. Mm -hmm. Being a Boy Scout, I've learned that. Start small, go bigger. The other thing is a saw is nice because if you need to cut up wood or you need to cut your way out of something, oh, say yeah. you get trapped into where, where you're camping and you need to get out, mm -hmm. it would be nice to have a chainsaw, but they take up room and you can get an electric chainsaw, which we've talked about, but right now we just use a saw and uh, you'd be tired, but at least you'd be out. You'd be tired. You'd be tired. <laughs> She's a Canadian. She's got lumberjack blood in her body. No, I didn't mean that. I meant I'd be sitting having my tea and <laughs> you'd be tired. I got you. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, here's another one. Levelers. We have levelers that we pull our trailer up onto when we're not completely level, say at a campground. Even campgrounds aren't always completely level. But when you're boondocking, they're never level, hardly ever level. So we use a leveler, and now you will say, but our camper, our rig has auto level. Auto level. Yes, it does. However, if you've ever gone through a campground and you've seen the tires hanging up off the ground, those levelers are not designed to carry the weight of the camper. So the idea is you get as level as you possibly can first, get and close. then you let the levelers do the tiny little minute adjustments, and then your tires aren't hanging up in the air. 
Yeah, and which levelers do we have? Uh, we have the Camco levelers. They make Anderson levelers also. We like our Camcos. They mm -hmm. work great. Um, we only have uh, you know one set because generally one side has to be up or the other side has to be up. Mm -hmm. It's really no use for us to have two sets. We've never run into that yet, but they work great for us. And uh, yeah, it's good stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. You want to be nice and level and comfy in your home. Yeah, comfy is king. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Something we found very important is to have a dedicated hotspot. When we started out, we just had the hotspots on our phones and that worked for a while, uh, but we found that we needed something a little stronger. And after talking to other people who are boondocking, they said it's really great to have um, a dedicated hotspot. So we have a jet pack through Verizon. Um, we also have a dedicated hotspot in our truck, that's AT&T, and that has just helped us to be able to be on Zooms and then to upload videos and things like that. So, dedicated hotspot. Dedicated hotspot. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Border Hookups Go RVing, and please remember to subscribe and to ding that bell so that we can let each and every one of you know as to when we have more episodes coming out. If you like what you saw in this video, please give us a thumbs up and place a comment below because we'd like to know what you're thinking. And we hope to see you out here. We'll see you out here. Should be the name of our next album. <laughs> Dedicated Hotspot. Ooh. You like that? Yeah, I kind of yeah. do. Let's go with that. Okay. The Border Hookups Dedicated, Dedicated Hotspot. Hot Bam. <laughs> okay. Dedicated De Hotspot. Boom. Dedicated Hotspot. Is that like the Power Rangers? Yeah. Thing? <sighs> yeah. And see now when I do that, I have to add a sound effect to it really counts. Okay. Sorry, Dedicated guys. Hotspot.